Hey YouTube, uh, I want to do a little beekeeping 101 series and as I was thinking about what would be good to talk about uh, for beginning beekeeping, um, I've been getting some people lately asking about uh, starting beekeeping in this area and I live in a suburban area in uh, Southern California. So I thought maybe it'd be good to do a video on the considerations you need to take into account when you're going to start beekeeping in a suburban or urban area. So the first thing I think you need to think about is your space. What kind of space do you have? Now I'm going to show you our yard. It ain't perfect. There's a few things we need to clean up, but bear with me. So here's our hives. These are basically in the middle of our garden area, which is maybe two thirds of the way over towards this neighbor's property line over here. You can see that. So you can see here, they're about 14 feet away from this property line here. So it's uh, not super close. It's far enough away that those neighbors should have some uh, plenty of space if they want to do yard work or something. They're not going to be making the bees defensive. The original location we had them in is right over there against that wall where those fence toppers are. And that was a nice location for the sun. It got full sun, it was nice and warm but it was too close to that property line and those neighbors started having problems with some of the guard bees chasing them around and stuff. And that's no good. You don't want that. So um, space is probably the number one consideration. Where will you put your hives? Now, some of the things you need to consider when choosing a location for your beehives is number one, they need sun. Bees like to keep their hive at 95 degrees Fahrenheit because it's basically a incubator for their little baby bees. So they're raising these little larval bees and they need warmth to grow. So if you put them in full shade, the bees will end up eating more of their stores to keep the hive warm because they have to use that energy to heat the hive up. Also, small hive beetle don't love full sun hives as much. They have a harder time getting a hold of a hive in full sun. You'll still have some, but they won't overrun a hive in full sun nearly as quickly as they do a hive that's in mostly shade. So full sun actually helps a lot. Um, another thing to consider, ideally you want to face the hives either south or east, the entrance is facing south or east. Now you don't have to do that, but it helps the bees get out a little bit earlier and get on their way in the morning so that they get a jump start on nectar collection. Uh, another thing to consider for hive location, I have my handy little list here that I can look at, is you want to make sure you have enough room between your hives and your property lines. And as I showed you earlier, this one is almost 15 feet from this property line. You could probably get away with 10. You could get a little closer if you face them away from the property line so their flight path is going away from the property line. Uh, another option you could look into is putting them above head level. Now I'm going to show you a, a location over here that I thought about doing when I first started beekeeping before I got my hives. If you see over here, that building there is our little patio. It's got a flat roof and I really thought about putting hives up there before I got my first hive. Um, the reason I went against that is because as I thought through the logistics of honey collection and hive management, I realized I would probably need to build a landing with a staircase so that I could get up and down with all of the materials I need for a hive. Now, if you have a deck, uh, you know, a deck that's overhead that already has a staircase or something, that could be a great place for bees. The advantage to having them up overhead is that their flight path is automatically overhead. So you're not gonna be, having bees bumping into you or your neighbors when they're going back to their hive and that's a great advantage the disadvantage like i said is how are you going to pull a 60 pound box of honey down if you don't have stairs so the amount of construction it would have taken me to do that just wasn't worth it that may not be the case for you rooftop hives are popping up all over in urban areas, they're a great place to keep hives. If there's elevator access or a short stairwell that allows you to get up and down from the roof area reasonably well. Now, in my case, not a great move. This is much better. It's much easier to access, but 
you might if you have access to a rooftop that might be a consideration for you um, the other thing to consider is your neighbors how do you get along with your neighbors do you have a good rapport with them um, are you on speaking terms do you have any neighbors that maybe you don't get along with so great uh, those are things to think about when you're gonna position your hives in my case I know my neighbors I've lived in this neighborhood a long time so before I even got bees I floated the idea by some of my neighbors I've lived next door to the neighbors where I near where I put the hives since I was a kid I grew up with their kids so I just talked to them I was like is anyone allergic Would that freak you out you know we already have chickens the bees be too much what do you think they didn't seem put off by it I talked to the people behind me they seemed cool with it I talked to my other neighbor on this side didn't have any real uh, issues there so we went ahead with it uh, you may not want to take that approach depending on your current kind of situation with your neighbors so you might want to think through that and figure out what a good approach is for you in that situation maybe you don't need to talk to anybody but you don't want to put your hives near a neighbor's house if you already have bad blood with them because you're just going to create problems if they don't like things you're already doing so just think that through you could probably still get away with it you just want to make sure you register your hives and make sure that you're in compliance with all your local ordinances so go on your city's website and look in their agricultural section of the city ordinances it should be available you can search it on your city's website i found it for my city bellflower and they allow i want to say four hives so i have i think i'm in compliance on that and they have to be at least 10 feet away from any property lines and you have to have i want to say six feet of uh, wall near them so those are the that's the basic nuts and bolts of the ordinances for my city so look that up because if you do end up having a neighbor complain about them uh, whether it's legitimate or not and you're not in compliance you can end up having your hives um, taken away so the the main thing is though if no one complains about it they don't have bee police going around looking for beehives so unless someone complains you're really not gonna have a problem with it so if you get ahead of that and you make sure you have a good rapport with your neighbors that's gonna that's gonna go a long way you can get you can do a lot more when you when you have a good relationship with people than if you just kind of do it and hope for the best so I would encourage you to try to be proactive on that but only you know your situation and what the best approach is as far as your neighbors are concerned so let's just recap real quick let me grab my handy little list so I don't forget anything is beekeeping worth it I think it is suburban urban beekeeping I think it's totally worth it it's one of the most rewarding hobbies that I've done and I have several hobbies um, things to consider space what is your space like where you would want to keep bees what location would you want for your hives do you have full Sun or partial shade those are okay can you keep them 10 to 15 feet from a property line and can you do it with the neighbors you have if you can do those to me, that's green light. I would say that's a green light. Do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below, like, and subscribe, and ding the little bell there, and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Um, during this whole coronavirus outbreak thing, I'm probably going to be doing several videos just because I have time. So I uh, hope you're all healthy and well. God bless.